what you're seeing here are thermoelectric units, these, which make electricity when one side is heated and the other side is cooled. So if this side is cooled and the back of this is heated, this will make electricity. Now these ones, these TEC12706 modules are better for cooling down. So if you put electricity into them, this side becomes cold and the back of them becomes hot. But these things can be used interchangeably. And I believe these ones are better for thermoelectric generation. Now let me tell you how I'm gonna do this. I have a large heat sink that I got out of a computer power supply right here. And I have one side of a computer power supply case that I've cut it open and I'm gonna use this as my heating element. So let's begin our project. In order to do this properly, we're gonna to need to use plenty of thermal paste so we, get, so we get good thermal coupling between the modules, the heat sinks, and the heating portion, which is this portion. Here's it assembled. So this is what everything looks like when it's finally put together. Let me show you how I got the final thing together. So I drilled two, uh, six holes in the bottom so that I could attach the heat sink, as you can see there. So the screws just go into the bottom of the heat sink. And then that applies pressure to the thermoelectric units, and there's two of them under there, which has thermal paste on both sides. So I've got good thermal contact with the heating plate, which is this thing, and the heat sink, which is that. The output of the thermoelectric modules, I joined it together, so I have series outputs. So I took two of the wires, the plus and the negative, and joined them together. And then the other two double up the voltage, so I've got about three volts. The legs are made out of aluminum strip, and I just drilled holes in the metal and used metal screws to attach them. And then what I did was I just used wire nuts to extend the wires out to a three volt motor that I have here. This is a low power electric motor that I've connected to a fan. And I made a simple little stand for it, just out of wood, just out of pieces of scrap wood, like that. And if you place the fan right in front of the heat sink. It'll draw air through the um, cooling fins on the heat sink and help cool it more effectively. So that's basically um, how you put it together. Here's it with the motor disconnected, the candle running, and I'm just measuring what voltage I'm getting. I think I could probably get around four volts with this, but I'm gonna stop it. Here's my candle. Let's see what happens. So there you go. Thanks for watching this video. And if you've got any questions or comments or you want to try and make this, please don't hesitate to contact me and leave comments below. And 
please don't forget to subscribe if you like this and other videos on this channel.